Immigrant rights activists are cautiously optimistic as President Joe Biden vows to reverse course on the Trump administration's hardline stance on immigration. We are able to now breathe a sigh of relief, but we're not going to stop working. On his first day in office, Mr. Biden is already taking action, ending the so-called Muslim ban by executive order and halting construction of the border wall. But the administration's biggest challenge is a proposed immigration bill with a pathway to citizenship for 11 million undocumented people. The president's priority reflected in the bill are to responsibly manage the border, keep families together, grow our economy, address the root causes of migration from Central America. Stephen Miller, the architect of much of former President Trump's immigration policy, blasted Mr. Biden's plan, tweeting, Today, Biden pledged to be a president for all Americans. It's unclear how all Americans are served by opening travel from terror hotspots, proposing a giant amnesty, or halting the installation of security barriers along the southwest border. The Biden plan would also fast-track legal status for DACA recipients like Jose Lopez, who we profiled back in 2019 when there was uncertainty about the future of the hundreds of thousands of so-called dreamers. So I do feel um, a little bit optimistic, but like I said, you know, I don't want to get too crazy and like get hopeful because we, we don't know if this will even pass. Both immigrants and advocates are somewhat skeptical, given former President Obama's bold promise of an immigration reform bill back in 2008 that never materialized. Obama was a deporter in chief. And I think that people, you know, glaze over that, but that's the facts. We're never certain until we actually see the actions and they're actually passed. We will make sure that we are holding the uh, administration accountable. With a slim margin in the Senate, it may be tough for Democrats to pass bold immigration action, but immigrant rights activists who mobilized for the Democrats in Arizona flipping that state blue and also mobilized for the Democrats in Georgia earlier this month, they feel anything less than bold action is unacceptable. I'm Christian Benavides, Pixel 11 News. All right, Christian, thank you.